Well, good evening to you wherever you are in the world. We are just about ready for the action here. Kickoff is imminent. The teams indeed with us very soon, having exchanged their various pleasantries. What I have to tell you is that the weather may not be great for the duration of the evening. The clouds yet to open, but one suspects that they will pretty shortly. And when the rain comes, we are warned to expect plenty of it. Is a venue this which simply adds to the spectacle of the game it stages one of the most impressive arenas in part of the world Jim how do you interpret this formation well what tends to happen with a, a puzzling looking formation like this is that two of the more creative midfielders take up slightly inverted attacking roles to make it a, a simpler 3-4-3 setup or indeed 3-4-2-1 that's what should unfold here. At the moment, I admit, it does look a little strange. And we're underway. Miguel Veloso. It'll be a throw in. And it's played forward. Doesn't get the pass he's looking for. to get it forward quickly. Gunter. Hoists it forward. Well, each team knows that they're still well below standard, and it's a question of uh, which can uh, find a way out. Played in with accuracy. Oh, good take, and a goes for goal! Really quick to react to the initial save, and he has his reward. Oh, Peter, you can't teach that. You either have it or you don't. His anticipation is on another level to everyone else's. Superb. Verona take the lead. Yeah, and they know there's plenty of work left in this one, Peter, before they can actually say that the job is over. Well, he's made sure that that won't get through. Tries to dink it in. Defending of the desperate variety. In comes the corner. Just brushed off the ball there. Bit of an appeal, but nothing doing. It's a very good battle there, terrific to watch. Tries to locate someone up front. Crescito goes looking. And we hit half time. 
So there you have it, a close sport half of football, but it still had its moments. It ultimately produced just one goal. More than decent game up to now. Well, this team has found a real rhythm to their game. The players seem to have clicked well, there's good movement off the ball, the passes are sticky. No one's afraid to have a go. Verona come in, having established that lead. Game where the narrative is, at least in terms of the scoreline, so far so good. And the game has already resumed here. Verona really need to go and, and grab another goal now, Peter, if they're going to go on and secure this. Up towards the front line. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Forward it goes. Well played, he saw that coming. He wasn't very far from making something happen by himself, lovely to see. There's a lot of movement up front. Yeah, I have noticed that those uh, fronts are working very hard, dropping deeper. Yeah, and I just think it keeps the opposition off guard with, with so much switching of position. Keeping shape is, is much harder. Genoa have turned to their bench, and we're going to have a substitution. Played into the middle. A oh, smart save. Genoa keep the ball, but can't do anything meaningful with it. Radovanovic. Radovanovic plays it forward. Tries to get it forward quickly. Your impression so far, Jim? Well, this lead is beginning to look a little delicate. I'd rather see them show the ambition and adventure to go further ahead. But it seems as if they settled for a, a riskier approach now to defend us. And the shot! Verona are clearly looking to kill this game off. It's keeping the ball on the other end, too. Final five minutes. Almost there, and the players can feel it. Looking to hit the front line. Miguel Veloso. Referee looks at his watch and blows his whistle. What a game. End to end, it flew by, and in the end, it all came down to just the odd goal. So what do you take away from it all, Jim? 